They were a phenomenon that rocked the world. Four decades later, the legend of the Beatles lives on. The further we get from them, the bigger they become. We'll be taking you on a magical mystery tour. From Liverpool and Strawberry Fields. And this truly is hollowed ground. To London and Abbey Road. I gotta seize the opportunity. <laughs> we'll visit original haunts. Welcome to the Casbah. And reveal secrets of the legendary Cavern Club. We'll take you to childhood homes and schools and relive Beatlemania firsthand at Britain's biggest Beatles festival. You're watching the Travel Channel! Hey! The Beatles story in Liverpool's Albert Dock is the ultimate tribute to the city's most famous sons. Paul McCartney, John Lennon, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison. Next up, be a guest at the Beatles' childhood homes. This is John's room. Learn about their schools. I used to think, oh, he's got potential, he's got quite a good voice there. And come on a magical mystery tour. You're watching the Travel Channel! <laughs> Through their music and words, the Beatles touched the lives of millions. But how did four young lads from Liverpool come together to form the most influential band of all time? We're about to take you back to where they once belonged, to their homes and schools to reveal their roots and the inspiration for many of their songs. So travelers to Liverpool can still visit most of the places that were part of the Beatles' early history and retrace the footsteps of the Fab Four. Whether you're a diehard fan or just curious, why not take a ticket to ride on a fascinating journey through Beatles Liverpool by bus, a replica of the one used in the 1967 movie, The Magical Mystery Tour. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Magical Mystery Tour of Liverpool. <laughs> tour guide Eddie Porter is on hand to lead the way from Penny Lane to Strawberry Fields. Beatle music has been a constant happy thing in my whole life, it's, and it's the soundtrack of my life. And there's like a real a brotherhood and sisterhood of fans who all share the same love of the Beatles and are going to the same place that they've always dreamed of going. Today, this American tour group is even joined by a Beatles tribute band. We love you Beatles, oh yes we do. We love you Beatles. Four-year-old John asked his aunt to meet me. Can we go and see the band play in the garden at Strawberry Field? John said as he watched the band play, he had an idea. I'd like to be in a band one day. Strawberry Fields was, and still is, a children's home. One of John's earliest memories was going to a garden festival here. A lot of people don't realize that Strawberry Fields was a real place that inspired John for that song, so it's nice to be here. Next stop, St. Peter's Church. Here rests the grave of Eleanor Rigby, immortalized in the Beatles song. On the 6th of July, 1957, they had the annual garden fete at St. Peter's Church in this back field here and the quarrymen played. After the first show in the afternoon, John Lennon met a boy from the audience called James Paul McCartney. The Lennon and McCartney partnership was born here at St. Peter's Church. It's only rock and roll, <laughs> but I like it. Today, the city of Liverpool has honored the Fab Four by naming a housing estate after them. This is very exciting. I mean, I can't imagine living on a street and writing my address, you know, John Lennon Drive or Paul McCartney Way. To actually come to the Ring of Star Drive is like coming home, you know? It's like a pilgrimage. I'm, I'm in awe right now. I don't know what else to say. So if you want a trip down memory lane to Beatles haunts in Liverpool, the Magical Mystery Tour is the trip to take. Coming up, 
we go back to where it all began. This is really the thrill of my life. Unearth secrets of the legendary Cavern Club. This will be the top of all vacations that we have ever had. And meets original Beatle, Pete Best. Welcome to the Casbah. The Beatles played to record-breaking crowds the world over. We'll take you back to Liverpool and go behind the scenes of the venues and clubs where it all began. St. Peter's Church Hall. It was here that Paul McCartney first met John Lennon when his Quarrymen group were playing. The cavern was the home of the Beatles, but few realize that its world-famous stage has also been graced by performers such as the Rolling Stones, Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, and Stevie Wonder. Today, the club is still used as a venue for bands, and if you're really lucky, you might even catch a Beatles tribute band. Oh, yes, wait a minute, Performing here are American English and British Export. Today, tourists can soak up the atmosphere of the past and imagine what it was like at the venues where the Fab Four once played. Next up, the Beatles sites hidden in the heart of London. They became the center of London life. The ultimate Beatles tour. This was one of the musts for us. The hot spots. Yeah. And the secrets of the vault. John Lennon held this in his hand and now <laughs> I am. London where the Beatles lived at the height of their fame and Beatlemania in the 60s. It's full of Beatle-related sites. We'll be revealing where and the secrets behind them. London is full of famous tourist attractions, but hidden in the heart of the city is an amazing treasure trove of Beatle sites waiting to be discovered. Next up, we bring you the ultimate Beatles fest. Look at this. Yeah, 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 all right. From auctions oh, yeah. Yeah. to artists. They fall in love with it and they have to have it. To tribute bands. You're watching the Travel Channel. Liverpool, England. Birthplace of the Beatles and setting for the world's biggest Beatles festival. Every August, more than half a million people pour into the city center to take part in this truly amazing experience which unites fans from around the world in a celebration of the Fab Four. Welcome to Liverpool, we love the Beatles. The festival takes place in venues across the city, such as the Adelphi Hotel. For some, it's an annual pilgrimage. Each day, more than 30 bands from 20 countries across the globe perform. There are even Beatles tribute bands all the way from Australia, Japan, and Brazil. Back at the Adelphi Hotel, fans are on the lookout for unusual Beatles memorabilia. You can find anything from Beatles blow-up dolls to Beatles underwear. Oh my God, Vicky, look at this. Ah, look at, look at, look at this. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> International Beatles Week is the ultimate Beatles bonanza, uniting fans from around the world in a celebration of the Beatles music. So if you want to relive the Beatles phenomenon, why not take your own magical mystery tour from Liverpool to London and experience for yourself the legend of the Beatles? <laughs>